Hello and welcome to the brand new Trade for a Living series here at TradeSmart University. My name is Jeremy Whaley. I'm one of the co-founders at TradeSmart and we're here to help you understand a little bit more what it takes to consistently approach the market and take profits out of the market on a monthly basis, on an annual basis, whatever it's going to take for you so that you can put some real cash in your bank account, in your jeans, and you can use it for whatever you need to use it for. So for this first trader's tip, I'm going to address the question of can you really trade for a living? And we're going to address the issue we're going to look at some statistics to support it and then we're going to build it out from there and what you're going to see throughout the series is several traders tips these are going to come out on a consistent basis and I hope that you really enjoy the series so let's answer that first question can you really trade for a living you know there's a lot of false statistics that are out there some people say that you know 10% of traders actually make a profit in the market I've heard people say only one or two percent what's the reality well Here's the actual numbers. This is based on some 2014 surveys and studies, and these are not just surveys of the users, but they're actual uh, audited reports from the brokers. And here's what it showed. It showed that 35% of retail traders made a profit in quarter four of 2014, whereas 65% of retail traders lost money in quarter four 2014. So that's a lot better than the 10%, you know, moving 10 to 35, that's a much bigger piece of the pie. So 35%, it's still the minority. It's not a great number, 35% versus 65%, but it's a lot bigger than just that basic 10%. And so what we wanna do is we wanna talk about what's it gonna take to move from that 65% over to that 35% so you can be that top 35% that can consistently make money in the market. But to really dig into this statistic, I think the question that has to be asked is, is this number that bad? And I'm gonna present some very interesting evidence to you over the next few slides that maybe will shift your perspective just a little bit. First of all, understand 35 and 65% is basic market odds. And I don't think it's a problem to say that retail traders are trading at basic market odds. Understand, there's three directions a stock's price can go. A stock can go up, a stock can go down, and of course a stock can go sideways. So out of these three directions, what are the odds if you go out and buy a stock what are the odds that the trade's gonna go up? Or if you go out and short a stock, what are the odds that the trade's gonna go down? Well, in both cases, the odds are 33%. So you got a 33% chance of success, just generally speaking. What that's telling us is by a margin of 2%, Average retail traders are actually beating basic market odds. Now, again, I want to move that number higher. I want more people to be making more consistent profits. But before we get all upset and say, well, my goodness, everybody's losing money, let's recognize that they're trading at basic market odds. And if we start with that premise in mind, we can actually build a trading plan around that. We can build a risk management plan around that. And that's going to really be your key to staying in the game and consistently performing. Next question you might want to wonder, or maybe you are wondering is, does this 35% also apply to professional traders? Do only 35% of professional traders make a living as well? And these are the statistics that might astound you. Are you ready for this? So this was uh, between 2013 and 2014, 60% of large cap managers missed their benchmarks, 60%, only 40% of large cap managers hit their benchmarks for 2013 to 14. Now, that's just slightly better than the average retail trader, right? Take a look at this next one here, mid cap managers, 42%. So if you wanna go find a manager, it looks like you should go for the mid cap managers because they're beating the market just a little bit more than the large cap managers. 42% hit, hit their benchmarks, 58% missed it. And finally, are you ready for this one? Of small cap managers, only 27% hit their benchmarks, only 27%. So what you see, if you look at these pies, wow, that 35% that the retail trader is hitting, that's not really that bad. It's kind of in line, even with the professionals. It's right there between the small cap managers and the large cap managers sitting right there in the middle at 35%. Again, trading at basic market odds. Now, the next question you have to ask is, is the pain the same? And this is where people really get messed up. They think, well, you know, hey, I can do just as good as the, uh, the professional fund manager. And in terms of beating the market, yes, you can do about the same or oftentimes even better. However, here's the distinction. The traditional 
Retail trader, people like yourself, typically will blow their trading account out and they'll actually go broke, whereas the professional will stay in the game and they can live to trade another day, another year, and they stay in the game for year after year, even if they lose some money or barely break even. So what's the distinction? What's the distinction of the top 35% that stay in the game? What's the distinction of the professionals that stay in the game? What is it that makes the best of the best be the best and more importantly, stay in the market year after year after year after year? That's what the Trade for a Living series is all about. So let me tell you a few highlights here. And as we build more of these traders tips, you're gonna start to see a lot of this stuff fleshed out. The first thing it's gonna take is you gotta learn to do really great analysis. Every great trader knows how to do great analysis and they use that analysis so that they can determine the direction of the trade. Number one, learn to do great analysis. Number two, determine the direction of the trade. Are we going up? Are we going down? Or are we going sideways? Next, select an appropriate strategy. Every great trader knows you've got to be able to select the strategy for the trade. It's okay to go out and buy call options. It's okay to go out and buy put options, but you gotta do it at the right time. It's okay to buy stock long. It's okay to sell stock short. It's okay to do covered calls. It's okay to do credit spreads. The strategies in and of themselves are not right or wrong. The key component here is doing it at the right time and applying it in the right circumstance. And the only way you're gonna know that is to know the direction of the trade. The only way you're gonna know that is to do really great analysis. So that's why these are the first three steps. Now the next one is interesting, risk management. This is how some of those fund managers who actually do barely break even or lose a little bit of money over the course of time, they're missing their benchmarks, but they can stay in the arena year after year after year. They understand really great risk management. And without any exception, all of my fund manager friends, they tell me risk management is the key. We've got some great training here at TradeSmart to help you understand risk management. This is the key. Write that down in your notebook, put a big asterisk next to it, risk management. And then finally, extreme discipline. Really great traders have a trading plan, they have extreme discipline to follow it, have extreme discipline to follow their risk management plan, they have extreme discipline to do the analysis, to pick a direction and apply the right strategy that works in that circumstance. If you will adopt these philosophies, if you'll adopt some of these key components, which again, we've got training for here at TradeSmart for all of these, it's all part of your basic memberships, you also can get into that top 35%. And even if you slide out of the 35% that are making money, you can at least stay in the game and live to trade another day, live to trade another month, another year, and continue to operate in this space year after after year ongoing and ongoing. So let me tell you what this Trade for a Living series is gonna be all about. First of all, we're gonna share a lot of free tips with you to help you become a much better trader. Next, we're gonna show you how to start trading like the top 35%. So you can move from that broad 65% up into that larger uh, profitable group, but smaller percentage group of the top 35% that are consistently making profits in the market. And you're going to be discovering several secrets that lifelong traders have discovered that have made them be able to stay in the market year after year. So you can stay in the game longer. And most importantly, we're going to be pointing you towards some top education resources so you can learn a whole lot more. So what do you need to do? Number one, subscribe to this channel so that you can watch all these videos. Number two, check back often to see what we're talking about. And next, go tell your friends. It's always great when you have a trading buddy to trade with. All right, thanks for joining us. I hope you're looking forward to this series. Please check us out over at www.tradesmartu.com.